Whether it's a trip to the Grand Canyon, the Eiffel Tower, or even Disneyland, many of us have been tourists ourselves, and it isn't surprising given that the tourism industry worldwide generates more than $7.5 trillion annually. With so much money at stake, local governments and tourism boards have plenty of incentive to maintain historic buildings, landmarks, and national parks. Some are stunning, some are educational, and some are downright dangerous. And today we're going to be looking at 10 of the most amazing tourist attractions in the world. With all that said and done, let's begin, shall we? Number 10. The Great Smoky Mountains Along the border of Tennessee and North Carolina lies the majestic Smoky Mountain Range, a sub-range of the Appalachian Mountains that are commonly referred to as the Smokies. As it turns out, the Smokies aren't actually covered in smoke, but rather a thick fog that has become a defining feature of the area. The fog is not your average fog and actually isn't low-lying cloud cover. Instead, it's the result of local vegetation that exhales chemicals with high vapor pressures. Without getting too bogged down in the scientists of things, this creates a mist that reminds many visitors of smoke, and speaking of visitors, this iconic tourist attraction draws nearly 12 million people every single year. The Smokies have even more to offer visitors than just the picturesque fog. In fact, they contain several notable spots, including the Klingman's Dome, which peaks at 6,643 feet. Number 9. Mont Blanc The second mountain on our list, Mont Blanc, draws even bigger crowds and employs a workforce of nearly 50,000 people. The millions of tourists that flock to this area every year are greeted not only by breathtaking views, but also some unique feats of infrastructure. Mont Blanc is home to the Mont Blanc Tunnel, an 11,600-kilometer highway tunnel that runs between Chamonix, Haute Savoie, France, and Cormaillard, Aosta Valley, Italy, which again, I'm pretty sure I butchered. The mountain also has a cable car that climbs nearly 1,300 feet in 10 minutes. And even if you've never heard of Mont Blanc, you have likely heard of its parent peak, the infamous Mount Everest. While Mount Everest is likely the most famous mountain nearby, as it turns out, Mont Blanc is decidedly even more deadly. While it's estimated that there are around 200 bodies lost on Mount Everest, Mont Blanc claims around 100 lives every single year, meaning that thousands have lost their lives to the mountain over the years. This number is tragic, but it is a little better when you consider that over 30,000 people have attempted to reach the peak, so I guess take the good with the bad. Number 8. Lou. One of the better known destinations on our list, the Louvre was built in the year 1202 under the orders of Philip II of France, but over the years it gradually changed until it was repurposed as an art museum in 1793. Since then it's gone to be the world's most visited art museum and tourists keep pouring in for good reason. In fact, the Louvre is home to the most astounding collection of art in the world. Among the nearly 400,000 pieces displayed, there are Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa and over 50,000 relics from ancient Egypt. It should also be noted that the site isn't only one of vital historical significance, but it also remains a key contributor to the French economy as well. In fact, the museum sees an average of 10.8 million visitors every year. And with each person paying just, say, $20 for admission, it adds up pretty quickly. Number 7. The Great Pyramid of Giza Of the seven wonders of the ancient world, only one is still standing today, the Great Pyramid of Giza. For over 3,800 years, it represented the tallest man-made structure on Earth. But the pyramid is more than just height. In fact, it spans an astounding 592,000 square feet. And if you were wondering what was inside, well, you won't be disappointed. The pyramid contains several passageways and chambers, including air shafts, ascending and descending passageways, a grand gallery, a subterranean chamber, the queen's chambers, and finally, the king's chambers. As the last of the seven wonders standing, it attracts its fair share of visitors. In fact, over 14 million people a year come from around the globe to see this piece of the ancient world for themselves. Number 6. The Hollywood Sign Mount Lee is situated in the Santa Monica mountain range of California in the United States. The eastern end of this stunning mountain range is part of Los Angeles' Griffith Park, and along the southern slope of Griffith Park's portion of the range lies one of the United States' most iconic landmarks. In 1923, a real estate developer named Harry Chandler took note of a giant sign that had been erected to advertise a new area called Whitley Heights. The name of Chandler's new segregated development was Hollywood Land. 
In an effort to build interest in the homes, which were comparatively cheaper than homes on the other side of the hill, a plan was hatched to set up a 40-foot tall, 350-foot long sign announcing the arrival of Hollywood Land. The sign itself was intended to stay up for the next year and a half. The following year marked massive revolution in filmmaking and is often referred to when discussing the golden age of Hollywood. Because of the massive expansion of the industry during this time, the sign quickly became a recognized landmark in the area. Thus, the obvious decision was made, and it was left up. And in 1949, the last four letters were removed so that the sign would accurately reflect the name of the district rather than the housing development which had been sold out. Number 5. La Sagrada Familia in today's video, we've seen natural wonders and incredible man-made structures, but this may be the first entry on our list, which is an incomplete project. Located in Barcelona, Spain, the Sagrada Familia was designed by Antoni Gaudi in 1882, but when he died in 1926, less than a quarter of it had been built. The project was constantly plagued by financial struggles and construction stopped completely for the Spanish Civil War in 1936, during which time Gaudi's original plans were destroyed and a 16-year effort commenced to piece together the fragments of it. Finally, during the 1950s, construction resumed, but remained intermittent. To this day, construction has never been completed, but with modern advancements in computer-assisted design, the project is expected to be completed by 2026. This is 100 years after Gotti's death, and 144 years after construction initially began. Number 4. Yosemite National Park Half Dome Yosemite National Park is one of America's most beloved parks. Located in California, it is home to a large granite semi-dome. This unique rock formation consists of one side that is a sheer face and three sides that have been rounded off, creating the illusion of a dough that's been cut in half. The design of the nearly 9,000 foot high formation makes it very challenging to climb and until 1875 it was believed to be impossible to climb. Since then, however, it has been climbed over 16 times and it has claimed more than 60 lives. While most tourists aren't daring enough to climb the Half Dome, Yosemite National Park does provide tours of the area with an advantageous view of the incredible formation in all its glory. Number 3. Grand Palace Bangkok's Grand Palace has been home to Siamese and later Thai leaders since it was constructed over in 1782. But despite its role in state functions and royal ceremonies, it's also one of Thailand's hottest tourist attractions. For their money, visitors get to view the breathtaking 2,351,000 square feet structure which consists of the Outer Court, Middle Court, Inner Court, Siwali Garden, and the Museum of the Emerald Buddha Temple. As you can see from this map, the Grand Palace is a sprawling collection of buildings and is quite an adventure for more than 8 million tourists that visit here annually. And admission is surprisingly reasonable, costing only 500 baht, which is the equivalent of around 16 American dollars. Now it's time for the day's best pick. My pick for today will probably appeal to the adrenaline junkies out there, but it's also an attraction that recently found itself in hot water. Number 2. Chongqing Bridge The Ordvisian theme park in China is a popular stop for thrill-seeking tourists from around the world. It's home to many high-flying thrills, including the world's longest glass footbridge. However, the park recently attracted some unwanted attention when one visitor's video went viral in October of 2018. Among some of the attractions at the theme park is a bridge that suspends visitors over 500 feet above the ground. Those with enough courage can try and cross it, but be careful because every second plank is missing. Well, the brave man in this video decided not just to cross the bridge, but to, well, run across it. However, just as he reached the other side, we can clearly see his safety harness simply fall off. Clearly, if the man had stumbled while crossing the bridge, the outcome would have been horrific. Thankfully, the man was unscathed, but we can bet he was a little more careful on the trip back. While the man in this video was alright, the park itself was not so lucky. The popularity of the video resulted in an immediate investigation. But despite claiming that the entire thing was a publicity stunt, authorities have closed the high altitude theme park indefinitely. We've seen some incredible tourist attractions on the day's list, but number one may be the most famous and the one that you knew the least about. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only five seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next five seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. 
Just try it. It really worked. Number one, Las Vegas Strip. Thanks to appearances in countless blockbuster movies and TV shows, the Las Vegas Strip has garnered a reputation as the heart and soul of no-holds-barred fun. But there are several things you may not know about this legendary tourist attraction. For starters, those who aren't locals typically assume that the Strip is in Las Vegas. After all, it is most frequently called the Las Vegas Strip. While many people don't realize that the infamous entertainment district is actually located in the neighboring Paradise, Nevada. And what about that famous Welcome to Las Vegas sign? Well, it was actually constructed 4.5 miles outside the city limits, which is why it is an indelible image associated with the Strip. Regardless of where it's actually located, the Strip is a vital part of the local economy. In fact, nearly 50 million people flock there every year, making it one of the most visited places in the entire world. Have you ever been to any of the attractions we talked about today? If so, did you like it? Go ahead and let us know in the comments down below. With all that said and done, I hope you all had a good time, and I will see you all next time. Later, everybody.